Hello everyone! So today I will be creating a bridal look for you guys. This is going to be a full face tutorial so I'm going to start off from the very beginning to the very end. This is going to be a very soft romantic look so I definitely think that this would be perfect for anyone. So the first thing that you want to do is create a very nice clean canvas. So definitely cleanse your face, that is very important. So the cleanser that I already used is the Resist Optimal Result Hydrating Cleanser from Paula's Choice. And I love this, especially if you have dry skin, because this doesn't strip you from the moisture that you still need, but it does a great job at cleansing your face. So, the next step is to moisturize your face. So, I'm using my favorite moisturizer. This is from Alba Botanica, and this is the oil-free moisturizer with aloe and green tea. This is excellent for all skin types, whether you have normal skin, dry skin, or oily skin. So I'm just going to apply some of this to my face. And you want to make sure to run it down towards your neck area. So the next step is to add moisture to your eye area. So I'm actually going to be using two products. So the first thing that I'm going to use is from Desert Essence. And this is the Daily Essential Depuffing Eye Cream. This is more of a lotion type of consistency, as you can see there. So I'm just going to add this around my eye area. So next I'm going to take the Mally Perfect Prep Eye Gel, and this is great for depuffing. It's just a really nice cooling eye gel for underneath the eyes. And it looks like this. It's a pink eye gel. And it comes with this little nifty tool. And it's made out of metal. So it's very cool to the touch. So I just take a little bit of this onto this. And I just add this to my under eyes. And I'm just gonna let that settle in. So the next important step is to prime your face. So the primer that I am going to be using today is also from Mally and this is the Perfect Prep Primer and this is a pink based primer and it feels very similar to the Revlon primer or the Smashbox primer. It's just very silky feeling and this will just give you a really nice flawless application when it's time for your foundation. So you definitely want to make sure to put it around your nose area, around your forehead area, and around your chin area. Those are probably the most important points of your face and they tend to get more oily. So next step is to conceal. So I'm going to take my NYX HD Concealer in yellow and I'm going to use this underneath my eyes just to brighten them up a bit. And I'm going to take a Sephora tapered foundation brush and just blend this in. I also like taking what I have left on my brush and just bringing it down my nose area, the bridge of my nose, because I find that it is very red in that area. So now that I look like a ghost, let's add some color, shall we? So I'm going to take the Mally Ultimate Performance Liquid Foundation, and this is in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to start off with one pump. Less is more. And I'm going to take a crown brush. And just applying it all over my face. And around the nose area. and just blend away. And 
can do a final blending with your fingers. Now, I personally don't like a full coverage foundation, so I really like the coverage right now, so I'm just going to leave it at one pump. So now I'm going to take a skin tone concealer. This is the Tarte Maracuja Concealer, and I'm just going to conceal around the nose area. Any problem areas that you may have, just conceal them. Okay, so while my foundation and my concealer were settling in, I filled in my brows. Now, I didn't film it because it is super easy. Basically, all I did was fill them in with brow powder. I took the Jordana Brow Powder Duo. This one is in the shade 03 Dark. And basically, I just take a small angled brush and I use the lighter shade on the center of my brows first. And then I take the darker shade and use it on the ends of my brow. And then I take the lighter shade again and I fill in the uh, beginning of my brow. So that's basically what I do. And then I just brush them out to blend in the brow powder. So I just like a very natural looking brow. So I don't really fuss with them too much. So now I'm going to do my eyes. So all the colors that I will be using today are from Rouge Bunny Rouge. So I'm going to be creating a very soft purple eye today. So the first shadow that I am going to be using is this one right here. This is a Lilac Reef Caruso. And I am going to use this Real Techniques base shadow brush. So just taking a little bit on to that brush and applying this all over the lid. This is such a beautiful light purple. This does have hints of blue in it as well. Taking the same shadow, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of the shadow up into my crease area. But you really want to diffuse this color. So it's just peeking out into your crease. Now I'm going to take this matte shade. This is called Sweet Dust Ceremia and this is sort of like a taupey, mauve kind of shade. It's really pretty with purple shades. So I'm just going to add this also up into the crease. So now I'm going to take this beautiful purple, which is Delicate Hummingbird, and I'm taking a tapered brush from Crown Brushes, and I'm using this color to define my outer edge of my eye as well as the crease. So basically just bringing the brush right into my eye socket. And this will add some definition and will darken up the eye. So now I'm going to take Trumpeter Coal, which is a dark gray with hints of lilac, and the same tapered brush. And I'm going to take this color and use it as my outer V shade. I'm not going to bring it up into the crease, just only on the outer edges of my eye. So now I'm going to take this Physician's Formula Black Liner. This is from the Shimmer Strips Nude Eyes Trio. It's just a black and I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line. I'm not going to apply this to my waterline. And I'm just going to smudge out the black. I don't want to close up my eye area, so I'm not going to extend the black liner all the way to my tear duct. I'm actually going to stop where my iris begins. So I'm just going to leave my tear duct area alone. 
I'm going to mix Lilac Reef Caruso and Trumpeter Coal and add this color to my lower lash line. So now what I want to do is create a very soft black line right where my lash line is. So I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Fergie cream liner in Little Black Dress. It's just a black cream liner. And I am taking this Essence of Beauty flat liner brush. And I'm just going to kind of tap the black cream liner right where my lash line is. So I will do that and I will be right back. So I was debating on whether I should add a inner corner highlight or not and I decided I am. So I'm going to add Alabaster Starling to my inner corner which is a BG pink and it's beautiful. It's a perfect inner corner highlight. I'm also going to bring it down to my lower lash line. Now you can skip this step, but I think it just adds a really nice effect to the overall look and it just brightens up your eyes. Now to mattify my brow bone, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Duality Pencil and I'm going to take the matte shade, which is in the shade Shell, and add this to my brow bone. So right where that arch is, then blends it out with a shadow brush. So for my waterline, I'm going to take the Tarte Nerim Brightener Pencil. And this is a really pretty peach shade. And it's meant solely for your waterline, just to brighten it up. You can always add a black liner instead, but I am going for a really nice brighten dye. Now on top of the Tarte and Rim Brightener, I'm going to take a champagne pencil from Physician's Formula, and this is one of the shimmer strip pencils, and I'm just going to add that right on top. So I already curled my lashes, so now for mascara I'm going to take the Jordana Best Lash Extreme and I'm going to also take the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes Nylon Fiber Extensions. And so I'm just going to add one coat of this, then a coat of this, and another coat of the Jordana Mascara, and I'll be right back. So these are the finished eyes. So I'm actually going to set my face with two powders. The first powder is the Benai Banana Luxury Powder. And then the next one is from Pumpkin and Poppy. And this is a oil absorbing mineral veil. So I'm just going to take the banana powder first. Add a little bit of this to the cap. And take a powder brush. And apply this to my entire face. Now I'm taking the Pumpkin and Poppy Oil Absorbing Mineral Veil. So next I'm going to slightly contour the sides of my face. I'm not really a fan of bronzer, but I am a fan of contouring. It really helps to slim down your face. So I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which is a matte bronzer, and I'm going to take the e.l.f. Bronzing Brush. And I just pinch the brush so it's more of a flatter brush and I just slightly contour the sides of my cheeks. So make the fishy face. I also add a little bit of bronzer to my chin area and just blend it with a kabuki brush. So for blush, I'm going to go with a more neutral color. So I'm going to take Rouge Bunny Rouge Habanera, which is very similar to Tarte's Exposed. So if you have Tarte's Exposed, you can use this. 
but I'm going to use this one. So I'm just going to apply a little bit onto the cheeks. I actually really love Habanero more than I like Tarte Exposed because this one is a little bit more subtle, but it still warms up your face and it still contours your face. It's really, really beautiful. So now onto lips. So the lip combo that I am going to be doing today pairs really, really nicely with Habanero. So the lip liner that I'm using today is the Too Faced Perfect Lips in Perfect Spice. So I'm just going to fully line my lips with this liner. So next I'm going to take a lipstick from Rouge Bunny Rouge. This is a color burst lipstick in the shade Whim of Mine. And this is sort of like my lips but better kind of color. And now I'm going to blot it a little bit with a tissue paper. And this will make it last much more longer. So the last step to this lip combination is another Rouge Bunny Rouge lipstick. And this is in the shade Fluttering Size. And this is a Succulent of Dew lipstick. So this actually has quite a bit of shine to it. It's quite glossy, so I'm just going to add that right on top. And I'm just going to blot this as well, just slightly. I'm also going to add a highlight. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighting Cream Duo in St. Tropez and this is a beautiful golden highlight. It is in cream form so I'm just going to dab it onto my cheeks. Around the eye area. This does dry rather quickly, so you do have to be quick with it. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just blend it in. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. If you guys have any requests for any tutorials, please leave them down below and I will get back to you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.